Hi everyone, this is Grace and welcome to my first week's project share of the Christmas in July with Gracie 21 collab. And as you guys can see, these are the projects that I made, so I'll share that with you in just a moment. Let me explain to you what I did. I ended up picking up a whole stack. Oh, by the way, for those of you who are like, what is up with Grace's voice? Um, during the summer months, um, usually I agree to lecture at an SAT test prep place just to kind of give myself a change of pace as well as to stay abreast of, you know, high school, you know, admissions, exams, and things like that. And so I'd been busy for the past few years with a number of things, and I hadn't been able to teach at my prep center. But um, this year I asked, you know, they contacted me again, and I said, if you are able to have me only on Saturdays, I can do the Saturday, you know, sessions. And so they were very appreciative of it. And so I agreed to teach Saturdays, which is six hours pretty much straight lecture through. So first week was totally okay. This past Saturday was our second week. And for whatever reason, my voice just kind of started to close in on itself at around four o'clock, four hours into the um, day. And so I was able to thankfully make it through the fifth and sixth hour, but <clears throat> my voice, yeah, has totally. So when I came home on Saturday, I tried not to talk to anyone because some of you guys know, but you know, my Sundays are full days at church. And one of the, my duties is that I give the Sunday message to the youth groups. So yeah, I think with the exception of absolute you know, necessary things. I've been staying really silent, which is totally okay because I tend to be an introvert who's been by circumstances forced to be an extrovert. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking, should I just kind of do a, you know, video kind of script thing? And I was like, no, that video editing will take way too long. So we're just gonna make do with my raspy voice today. And hopefully you guys can hear me. So anyway, so the collab is for us to get ready for Christmas and do whatever, you know, we plan on using for Christmas. And so I had purchased this Penny Black Glad Tidings um, stamp set and I'd been wanting to use it. And so what I did was I actually, had I had more time, wanted to use all of them and try to, you know, do various cards. But um, I didn't have much time, so I used this, stamped this out on a cream cardstock that I had purchased from Michaels. And then what I do is you'll notice I kind of just traced along it so it's not like a straight cut. And I think that did a nice job so that I would I didn't have to necessarily have a different, you know, mat around it. So there's that. And I did one in black using my archival jet black and then this one may peace be your gift at Christmas and your blessing all year through and that's going to be the Studio G. So Anyway, um, what I did was this paper pad actually, because you guys know this cardstock is from the rec you know the Michaels you know eighty pack. I had purchased one of just the red hues. Um, this pack is from the Holiday Lodge recollection set, and I think this is kind of an old set. It's a set that my sister had given me. So as you can see, I use that and I use that, and I like the red because there's some foiling on it as you can see here. Anyway, so with the red one, I you, you can see what I did, and then I popped it up. And then on the inside, I took that same cream paper, and then I just punched the corners with this little um, punch that I purchased at Daiso for $1.50. And then on the back, I just stamped handmade with love. I may or may not stamp something in the inside. It really depends. If I end up using it, then I won't because you guys know I, I find the inside sentiment bothersome. <laughs> it interrupts my writing. <laughs> but if it's going to someone else or for fundraisers, then of course I'm going to go back in and stamp something in the inside. Now with the black one, and I have to admit, I do like the way that the archival ink stamps better. Notice it's a cleaner stamp. But anyway, because it was black, um, I thought, you know what, I think I could get away with using these red um, little flatback pearls from the Dollar Tree by Jot. And so what I did was I put three clusters so that they kind of look like holly, holly berries a little bit. Um, 
I may end up, if, I don't know, you guys let me know. Do you think it'll be too much overkill since this is red if I put red little flat back pearls on the corners like I did with this one? This one I feel like is okay it's because it's black. But anyway, I did the same thing inside here. And so these are my two cards using the Glad Tidings Penny Black. And then what I also wanted to do was make some of the um, tags that I wanted to use for my little church group. Hold on. All right, so this tag is from Hero Arts, and for those of you who want to track it down, it's K5859, Want for Christmas, and it's, you guys know I love my wooden blocks, um, but anyway, so I thought that this would be a really nice thing, and so what I do is I stamped it out actually on this. Um, and again, this is from the same paper pad. I was actually going through like four Christmas paper pads and for whatever reason today I just ended up using it, um, all the papers from that paper pad. But um, so on the back is this and I can write the kids names here. This is from my church youth kids um, when we do our secret angel exchange. And then when I stamped it out, um, it just looked too black, and I knew that I would want to kind of glitz it up. So you can't see it, really. You can see the shine, right? So all I want for, and then is, is in yellow, and then this is in purple. So for whatever reason, on camera right now, the purple's not coming out as nicely. But I just used my little glitter gel pens. Um, I think had I had the glaze 3D pens, that would have been nicer, but... Bentley and I have not had a chance to go to Hobby Lobby yet, too. I know. You would think it's what now I'm entering into week three of summer vacation, right? And you would think that I would have had time, but gosh, I don't feel like I'm on summer vacation. Something's always coming up. So anyway, I was glad that I was able to get some crafting done at least. Now with the green one... I did, you know, green glitter and all this stuff, and then I wanted to try to see what it looked like with some stickles, and personally, I would have preferred a brighter green, but I don't have bright green stickles, or at least kind of like that um, hunter green stickle, so I may do with my little, what is, I think this is like pine, yeah, I may do with pine stickles, and so it gives us still that nice little, um, you know, sparkle, and I have to admit, I like the stickles because the application is a very, oops, sorry, is a very thin um, glitter. I will say, though, oh, I did it again. I, yeah, <laughs> I've been so bad about putting things on top and then flipping these, so this particular one and that one, oh, so sad. Anyway, with the purple, I had purchased this from 99 cents Craftology Glitter Glue, and so I kind of just lined through it, and as you can see, okay, number one, I smeared a little bit, so you can see that, but I think because the tip is a little bit bigger, it doesn't glide as nicely or as, you know, finely as the stickles, and then in addition, um, the glitter's not as, um, what's the word, compact or dense, so you'll see some, you know, sparse areas, so... Anyway, so I thought that that looked okay, and then with this one, all I want for Christmas is, and then this is in red, but the the closest thing I have to red glitter, glue kind, was this, the stickles, um, and I think this is kind of in, what color are you? Okay, no color, but I think it's orange. <laughs> so anyway, um, stickle that, and you can see, but again, I smeared it, ugh! Um, I was working on something and then I realized, oh my gosh, something's on top of my tag. So anyway, I had to go back and fix. So that was kind of nice. But anyway, so these are my tags for my youth kids. Um, come, you know, after Thanksgiving is when I pass these out and we pick secret angels and then they can write their little list and then they can hang it on their little cubby. I do have a little cubby for them. Um, I converted a bookshelf in the youth room into a little cubby so that they can put their Bibles in there, you know, just some place where they can leave their stuff if you if they want while they're at church. And so um, I'll have little hooks, you know, you know, those adhesive hooks, I'll put those on their little cubbies and then they can hang these. And um, when I get ready to give it to them, I'll probably 
put some sort of ribbon on it so that they can, you know, it looks like a tag too. So anyway, there's that. And then I think the other thing that I wanted to share with you is, you know, I pop this up. Usually I will use double-sided adhesive tape, but I realized that when I use that, literally I have to be really careful about positioning because if it's just a slight bit off, I'm done for because that adhesive tape that I use is so strong. So what I did was I went back to using my Martha Stewart craft glue and this actually gives me enough glue without, you know, globbing it on so that it doesn't warp the paper and because I was using cardstock, you know, the warping was minimized anyway. And so yeah, that gave me just the tiniest bit of wiggle room so that if it wasn't exactly centered, I can go back and wiggle it around a little bit. So anyway, this is my week one of Christmas in July collab with Gracie21. I hope you guys enjoyed. And in the comments, seriously, let me know if you guys think it'll be overkill if I put some more of these things here on this card or if you think it'll actually look nice. So anyway, down below in the description bar will be the list of the other women who are taking part in this collab. I hope you get a chance to check it out and stay tuned because I know I certainly will. And I think one or two of the other ladies are planning on doing kind of um, impromptu giveaways in their Christmas in July videos. So anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.